guess what? The new Brooks Aurora BLs are here. And I want to just give you a layman's. I'm not, I've been running for not even two years, but I've put in about 1,400 miles in these last uh, two years. And so what I want to describe is a non-skilled uh, runner and the best shoes that I've ever found. And so two summers ago, I bought a pair of Aurora BLs. These are the first ones that I bought, and they're in pretty good shape still, and many of you are the ones that have these. The one problem I found was the tongue, when I was lacing up, would get torn up. Didn't like that, but I loved them. I ran, I ran, I ran, I ran, I liked them, and then I started thinking they weren't gonna be making any more of them. So I went ahead and bought a second pair, and again, ran these things pretty much into the ground is, you know, 500 miles or, or so in those. And then they didn't seem like they were gonna be making any more. So I decided to go out and I bought a pair of uh, Sakani uh, endorphins. And I like them, but I was waiting for that moment when maybe Brooks would come out with the Aurora BLs again. And I didn't know what they would do. And so if you haven't purchased them yet and you've already had them before, or maybe you've never had these shoes, um, I'm going to give you just a layman's version of why I love these shoes so much. And so I want to open up my box of the brand new ones that I've gotten. Uh, so first thing I might highlight is with these shoes, the, the decoupled, a lot of people complain because when you walk, it makes a suction sound in here. I don't know when I open the new box whether it'll have the same thing, but I don't care about the suction because when you're running, it doesn't make that noise. And I don't use these to walk around in. These are running shoes, and so I love that. But I'm a bigger guy, and one of the reasons I started running was I was afraid of uh, picking up pre-diabetes. And so lost about 40 pounds, put some of it back on over the winter, but it's helped me. Uh, and, and so I've purchased these for the comfort, and these have the softest, uh, comfort in there for when I land on my heel it doesn't pain me and so I run a couple miles a day seem about on average and it's got the nitrogen injection and whatnot but what I want to do is 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 now open up the new box and I haven't seen them but I'm going to compare and see what I find with these guys so the new box just came in uh, I know the only difference that I could tell when I was ordering was that they were a different color. And so these ones look more like a white and a gray uh, color. And so, so here's the new box. Doesn't look much different than the old box. And are you ready for this? Boom. Oh, look at that. So uh, there's the new version. I didn't know if they were telling me the truth on this, that they were really coming out, but they are. And uh, they look pretty similar. So I'm going to compare uh, just visually uh, the left shoe. As I'm looking at it, I'm going to tell you, I can't see any difference except for the color. Literally, as I'm comparing them, uh, it's still got that mesh toe, so you'll see your socks through there. Uh, the uppers look the same, the, the laces look the same, they have different insets in there. Uh, when you flip them over to look at the bottom, uh, looks identical. I'm assuming it's going to have that same suctiony sound that came with the other version. So you can see that's the bottom. Uh, so let me stack them up this way. You can see the difference in the side. Uh, again, the toe uh, has that same uh, mesh toe, so you can kind of see your, you know, toes through there if you're or socks if you, when you're wearing those. Um, so I'm not seeing anything really different at all. Um, this where it says. DNA loft, it appears that it's embedded in there or, or imprinted in there, whereas this one, it seems to have it just as the 
um, print on there. That's it. That's the only difference that I can see visually uh, between the ones that I've had in the past and the brand new ones today. Obviously, the wear marks, uh, the Brooks logo is still on this one, and it's not on that one. So that's the test. Um, the, the, the real test is going to be when I try them out and run, but quite honestly, they look identical. So I'm assuming I've had these now. This is my third pair. I'm just going to assume that they're going to run just like before. I usually have 10 and a half for uh, other purposes, but for running shoes, I made it at 11, and that seems to work. So if you're interested in getting a pair, you might want to make sure you're up a half size, but um, that's, that's the big deal on it. Uh, I don't even know if I need to go run in it with the uh, identical... Uh, look of the shoes so there you have it the new Brooks Aurora BL